What's good, everybody? This is Cream Spinner Show, and this is episode 8 of my Modern Warfare 3 Door to Commander series. And we're gonna finish off my, we're gonna attempt to finish off my top television, uh, comedy television, uh, lists. And we're gonna talk about the other mentions that didn't make the list. Um, and like I said in the first video, uh, you're gonna get, uh, recorded commentary over these because I cannot multitask when I play this game. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Now, we're gonna continue the list. We left off with number three with Scrubs. Now we're gonna talk about number four, which is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Now, this show is great. The character's great. The humor's great. Uh, right, an example of this, if you YouTube Kitten Mittens, uh, good God, you're gonna laugh your ass off, right? Uh, that's from that show. Now, However, there is a big problem with the show, and it goes way too far sometimes, right? And this is where I think it really sh misses the mark in terms of what I like. Now, of course, I could be dead wrong, so feel free to leave a comment in the comment section saying, Matt, you're a fucking idiot. You're dead wrong. This is why It's Always Sunny is great, or this is why this com comedy type show is great. So feel free to do that, because I won't be offended, or at least I hopefully won't be offended. Now, um, again, the show goes too far. Uh, sometimes, and there's a great example of this. Um, in season seven, there is the episode about D gets audited, right? And in this episode, they have a funeral for a dead dog, and they actually dump the dead dog out of the casket. And w that is that that goes a little too far for me. Um, and of course, there are some episodes that that just don't work at all, right? In the same season, we have the episode about uh, Frank's cousin. I, f I think it's Vito, Vinny, or whatever his name is. Um, you know, and that just doesn't work because it's all one character, and it just does not work. Um, but this show is fucking gold, right? Fucking gold when th these these act these uh, characters are singing and dancing. Like I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you Google "A Nightman Cometh" or "Frank's Little Beauties" and watch those episodes, like those are the titles of the episodes. Now, holy shit, those episodes are fucking hilarious, right? I mean. The Nightman Cometh, the entire thing is 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 absolutely amazing. Now, uh, for Frank's Little Beauties, the whole <laughs> Welcome to the Future of Patriotism uh, thing, rave thing they do in the contest is just, it's it's gold. It's fucking gold. And also, you know, when they're not singing dance, it's also gold, right? In Season 7, uh, we have Thunder Gun Express, and, uh, and when the gang gets trapped, right? Those are great episodes, and I highly, highly recommend it. Um, now, with this show... Um, I would say that this show works 80% of the time, uh, in my opinion. Uh, so feel free to watch it. Um, it's it's very very funny. It's it's very it's worth it. Um, now, the fifth show and the last show in this ranking is Community. And yeah, Community. Uh, I fucking love this show. Um, there's great characters, great writing, great story. Um, the reason why this is so low on my list is because the show is still crossing the line from good to great. Right? We have had so many excellent episodes, right? We've had the foosball episode and the paintball episodes, and those were just fucking awesome. Now, the problem is that we've also had episodes like that Claymation Christmas special that really just did not work for me, right? And so, you know, we have... It's, it's just... It's, it's getting there. Um, this show just... It needs to mature. It needs more time. Um, and... Uh, don't get me wrong, this show's gonna be fucking great, alright? It's destined to be a great show, right? We can see that already. Um, and it's just, give it time. Um, it needs to cross that line, and then uh, it'll be great. Um, once it does that, I guarantee it's gonna be the, one of the best comedies in the 2000s. Now, um, that is, if NBC doesn't fuck with it like it did in the middle of season 3 and screw it over like it did last time. So, NBC, if you're listening, don't take this show away, alright? Don't pull what Fox did with Arrested Development. Keep the show on the air because it's gold. It's fucking gold. Keep it. And so, now that's all I got uh, for my list. Now we're going to talk about the other mentions. Um, so, we have, uh, and these are in no discernible order. It's just me rambling um, off the cuff. And so we're going to talk about How I Met Your Mother. Um, How I Met Your Mother has severe writing problems as of late. Um, they keep getting signed on to new contracts, so the writers keep stretching out the storylines as far as they can go, and quite frankly, I'm fucking tired of it. Ted, just meet the fucking mother already. I mean, seriously, this is ridiculous. Um, South Park is, is not on my top list, and the reason why is because there are those episodes of South Park where, you know, I'm sitting, and I'm watching it, and I'm just like, oh, I'm, I get embarrassed. I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm fucking watching this. This is absolutely disgusting. Um, but when South Park, South Park is great when it hits it, hits it right, right? Um, 
we have the Scientology episode, which was gold, and uh, other episodes like that, uh, which worked really, really well. Um, the Boondocks is also on my list. Uh, the humor is fantastic. Um, I love racism type humor, um, but the rewatchability of the show isn't uh, what it what it should be. Um, uh, needless to say, I think it gets a little dated, and I think that's a that's a consequence of I think it's Aaron McGruder's style uh, conquering um, you know more modern issues. Don't get me wrong, Aaron McGruder, I love him to death. I think he's extremely talented, and um, you know I'd love to see him successful. Uh, I'd love to see him you know succeed, and it is great. Um, of course, uh, on Adult Swim, if you watch Shin Chan, uh, that's also uh, a great comedy that I absolutely like. Uh, but the problem is that uh, the rewatchability again. Um, it's just it's very tough for me to get into that. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's absolutely funny, it's it's really great, but uh, it's just it's tough to get into. Now, uh, the next four shows that I'm listing off all have generally the same problems, and that is uh, The Office, Everybody Loves Raymond, and Archer. Right? They all have severe pacing problems, um, in my opinion, and on top of that, some of the characters just rub me the wrong way. Um, uh, with The Office, the writing is just has gone down shit hill really quickly. Um, Raymond, I can't stand the mother. Archer, I just don't care for. Sometimes the characters just annoy me a lot. Um, and then also on my list is Curb. Curb Your Enthusiasm on HBO. Uh, this is the reason why it's on the list, because this is a raunchier version of Seinfeld. And it fucking works, right? Uh, the last season we had of Curb was absolutely incredibly good. Um, but the problem is, there are just some parts of this, this show that's just, it's just so hard to watch. Um, either It's either Larry just going too, it's staying too long on a topic, or it's some other characters that just just rub you the wrong way. Now, my favorite character on the show, Leon. Fucking love Leon. That guy is hilarious. Um, but again, you know, this show just it has. I think it has some pacing problems. Uh, of course, the storytelling is great. Um, so if, please g give that show a try. But and I, I absolutely. Uh, I'm just. I, this isn't on my list. I'm just saying this to be to be coy about it. But but I hate Big Bang Theory. Um, I think that show is terrible. Um, Whereas Arrested Development has smart jokes about stupid people, um, Big Bang Theory has, well, Big Bang Theory has um, really fucking terrible jokes about smart people. It just doesn't work. Uh, same thing goes for Two and a Half Men. I just that show is terrible. Um, I, if you watch it, I'm I just feel sorry for you. Uh, feel free to watch any of the other shows I listed. Um, they'll be better than that show. Um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and more importantly for sticking around to watch. Uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video. And, of course, feel free to follow me on Twitter, at CreamSpinachio. I don't tweet a lot, but you'll make it something funny. And, um, once again, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and like, and uh, have a fantastic day.